What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video, girl, oh honey, you won't believe the drama, honey. Girl, I'm giving you fashion for days, honey. You just can't take all this fashion. If I can get it right, girl. Yeah, there we go. Ah, love it. Love how you can just shape it. And you really feeling, feeling a little froggy, girl? You got a little green on your hair, honey. Yes, ma'am. Okay, guys, so let me talk to you about my 600 pound life, okay? Like, seriously, I, oh, the drama. The drama. Okay, seriously, this green is killing me, girl. So I was watching this show called My 600 Pound Life, and I've seen, <sighs> we have to go back. I've watched one episode of it, and I was freaking shook the house to the point where I did not want to watch another episode because it put me through the gigs. I was going through the gigs, watching the gigs, girl, okay? I was like, no, ma'am. This show made me feel like I was eating wrong and I just, it gave me anxiety, so I stopped watching it. Okay, well, girl, as you guys know, you know, I had a little, I had a little, uh, little surgery, a little lipo, a little nip, little tuck, girl, a little, you know, body contouring and uh, all that stuff. If you don't know, you can watch the videos about it. Help, I follow the whole, the camera goes with me with my journey with the doctor and the surgery and all that stuff. Anyways, girl, God forbid I was never 600 pounds. However, I did lose about, I think, overall like 40 pounds due to like uh, the tummy tuck and the liposuction. So now, girl, my tummy is flat the house. So I, for some reason, I just stumbled upon my 600 pound life. And if you're on YouTube, guys, if you're on YouTube, you will literally watch one vid like two minute clip, okay, of my 600 pound life. And next, it starts recommending all these other 600 pound life one minute clips. And you get sucked in the rabbit hole. That's what happened to me. And I'm like, oh, girl. So then I went to iTunes and I bought the first season. And then I bought the second season. And there's some lady named Lupe in there. And all that drama. And I was like, girl, I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe this. And so let me tell you what it is, okay. So if you guys don't know what My 600 Pound Life is, it's a TV show and it's not just like a little 30 minute gig. They pick like two people for one episode and they follow them within the course of years, years, okay, and months. And then you get to see like them all fat and then they get all skinny and you feel like invested with these people to the point where you want to know like where they at now type of thing, right? Because like they're, cause you get to see them like in their most vulnerable state, right? So then, okay, so for example, and this is what I don't like about the show. So let's say you got like this fat bitch, right? She's like at home, I'll bear the how, you know, I'm mad, whatever, because she's so, so big, whatever, because she doesn't really want to be 600 pounds, right? And she, 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 she don't even know, and she don't even know how big she is, right? Well, girl, my conspiracy, my, my conspiracy, my opinion, allegedly, I feel like these people's moms and dads and brothers and sisters, I feel like they enable these people to, to get big like that so they can continue to get disability checks, girl. Now, now, that's not, I know, I already know, they'll call me, well, red legs, how dare you? Uh, like I said, it's my opinion, and I'm pretty sure there are people out there who are 600 pounds who want to be 600 pounds so they can get some type of disability, government assistance type type gig, okay? Don't come for me, I'm, there are people who do it, okay? Well, so I'm watching the show, and I'm like, okay, guys, they're gonna get help. Right, like I want people to get up because they're like, oh, my body's in so much pain, my my belly hangs so low, it hurts. And I'm just like, girl, I cannot imagine how that feels, right? So, anyways, I'm sitting there watching that show, and I'm like, that bitch, girl, oh, she's so lucky. You know, I've eat a lot. You know, I've been eating a lot healthier now, and I want a cheeseburger, girl. I want a greasy ass pizza to the house. Like, I wish I could eat that all day, every day. Love it so much. The the for the. So that you just feel so full, oh, you just miss those days, right? I love food so much. So I'm sitting there watching it and she's eating like Oreos and ice cream and milkshakes and burgers, cheeseburgers, double decker of the house and oh. And then, oh, then they're eating like, oh, they're eating like six Jack in a Box meals and Whataburger meals, girl, and in and out And I'm just like, oh my God, that food is so good, huh? Like an obsessive amount of food, okay? And I'm just like, oh, that lucky bitch. I could never eat that much, girl. You're so lucky you could eat that much. Oh, it looks so good. I can't have it. It looks, like if you're on a diet and you're watching them eat, oh, it's torture. So my friend's looking at me like, girl, how can you say, call her lucky? Look how big she is. I'm like, she gets to eat whatever she wants, honey, damn. So anyways, so then they pick these people, right? We follow them on their little, their little fat journey. And it, then it takes us 
to the doctor's office. This is when it gets good, girl. And these people live in like like Alabama or something, right? So they have to like get in like a, a truck or like a big SUV because they're so big they can't even get into the car, right? It's that, like they, it's almost like, it's almost like the producers are like, okay, let's get the fattest bitch we can find and put her on TV for views and milk it for money. Like that's, that's how I feel like they're, like they're doing it, right? Like it's almost like, oh yes, Yes, the bigger the better, girl. The, the more shocking. That's we're gonna get the views. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like let me like adjust myself. I feel like the producers try to like find people like that so they can get views. Okay, just trust me. Okay, like it's all about views and ratings. Okay, and numbers. They fight, the fatter the bitch, the more the more views. Okay. So anyway, so then they like they have to like put this person in the damn pickup truck in the damn back, girl. And there they are, like oh, bigger the howler. Right, and they take them to the dam. They drive them all the way to Houston, Texas, girl. My damn backyard, girl. I live in Houston, the house, girl. Houston, Texas. And they go to some doctor named Dr. Nazar, which is literally not that far from here, girl. And I'm like, girl, no, ma'am, they're right here in Houston. Go, no, ma'am. So here they are. I'm here for my surgery. And they get on the scale, and it says like 700 pounds. And they're like, oh, shook the house. They can't believe they weigh that much. Then they go in the damn waiting room, waiting for the doctor to come and talk to them. They're just sitting there all bitter. Then the doctor finally walks in. This is what I don't like about the show. The doctor walks in and he's like, uh, I can see here that uh, you weigh 700 uh, pounds. Uh, and uh, in order for me to do a uh, weight loss surgery, you're going to have to lose uh, another 100 pounds. Uh. And, the, and, the, and they're sitting there like, Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, girl, no. This bitch then came all the way down from Alabama in the damn pickup truck in the back, okay? Just for you to sit here and say you gotta lose another 100 pounds. Uh, this is what she's here for. She's here to lose the damn weight. Why are you sending her back home, girl? No, ma'am. So then they're like, so then, you know, the camera cuts off and it shows them back in the pickup truck going home. And Dr. Nazar said that I gotta, I gotta lose another 100 pounds. Well, not, not lose another because they never lost it anyway. I gotta lose 100, 100 pounds in order for him to do weight loss surgery. Girl. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So then somehow, by the, by the grace of God, they lose 100 pounds, okay? Then they, they get their ass back in the pickup truck. They're still big. They haul them down all the way back to Houston, girl. And then they see the doctor, and the doctor's like, oh, here we go. They're sitting out bare, girl. The doctor walks in, and there's like, I can see uh, you lost the 100 pounds. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. I didn't think you could do it. The little shade. He always done a little shade, girl. Uh, but uh, in order for me to do a weight loss surgery, you're going to have to lose another 100 pounds. By that time, I'm just like, girl. And this is a consistent thing that he does, girl. And the patient's like, and the, the camera cuts off. It's like, it doesn't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't want to take you there at all. Girl, my eyelash almost fell off. So I'm just like, girl, no, this is freaking crazy. Then they go home. They're all freaking depressed, the house. They're like, well, I'm just going to have to move to Houston because I'm serious about my weight loss and all that. So they end up moving all their stuff to Houston and getting an apartment over here and stuff, okay? Girl, shock the house. Well, they, then end up gaining, they end up gaining weight. They go back to the doctor. The doctor's like, no, nope, you got to lose more weight. I can't do the surgery until I lose more weight. They go home. Months and months pass. Now, mind you, the camera's following them all along. Okay, and you know what trips me out the most? And this is gonna be like a, less, a good eye opener for like society in general. Okay, these people are legitly 600 pounds, okay? And they have husbands, wives, boyfriends, in relationships. I can't even get somebody to text me back or call me. And that bitch is married and has a boyfriend or girlfriend. And I'm sitting here single the house. Oh, I must be doing something wrong, girl. Oh, no, man, I can't, I can't deal. Watch it. They, they're freaking married. They have, they have boyfriends. They're like active sex lives, girl. And I'm sitting here like, damn, I can't even get a damn text back. Well, anyways, I digress, okay? So then they finally lose the weight, and the doctor's like, okay, I'm gonna do the surgery. And all the doctor does, a little 30-minute surgery, and just makes their stomach a little smaller, okay? And then they start dropping weight like flies, okay, after that. And then they have all that loose skin, Okay, and then the doctor's like, well, in order for me to do the loose skin surgery, you're gonna have to lose, you're gonna have to lose another 100 pounds. Oh my gosh, at this point in time, I'm just like, girl, if the doctor just would have kept telling them, 
lose the weight, lose the weight, like dangling a carrot in front of their face, lose the weight, lose the weight. They already done would have lost the weight without even the damn surgery. And all you gotta do is do the damn uh, skin, uh, cut the loose skin off, girl. So this is why I feel, in my opinion, my experience allegedly, that my 600 pound life is a total scam. Because the doctor, because let me tell you, I know doctors, okay? If a fat bitch walks in there with a good sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 and says, do the weight loss surgery of the house, the doctor's not going to say, well, uh, you're going to have to lose another 100 pounds. No, he's going to say, thank you, boop. see you next Tuesday. You know, we'll do a little blood work, yada, 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 and we're going to do it right then. But because this is TV, because Dr. Nazar probably doesn't want to get sued because he's trying to follow the book, textbook, you know, the, the steps, girl, okay, doesn't want to cut corners and wants him to lose weight naturally and then do the surgeries to be a healthy surgery. Girl, girl, no, ma'am. If I, girl, you know damn well, if, if one of these fat bitches that was a 700, 600, 700 pounds walking with a good 80 grand to 100 grand and said, girl, do the surgery, Money talks, girl. Money talks. And they're not going to send them away. No matter. Because they're going to go to another doctor, girl. Okay, yes. We'll do it right now. Come on. To get that ass in the damn stretcher, girl. Well, not literally. But, you know, they'll be like, they'll do a little blood work. And then, you know, he'll... I'm just saying, money talks, girl. And I don't really think... I think that it's kind of... In a way, it's kind of like making people think that they have to lose weight before they see the doctor. When I know there are doctors who would do the surgery. And would it make them jump through hoops to get the surgery? That's all I'm going to say. I have no proof. This is my opinion, my experience, allegedly. Now, I do love the show. I do like it. And uh, I think that I think that Dr. Nazar, that's his name? Dr. I think he's setting a good example for other doctors. But at the same time, because it's TV, it's reality TV, I wonder how much of it is just for show and how much of it is actually real. You know what I'm saying? And then I get so attached to these people. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm not coming for the doctor. I think he's an awesome doctor. But I just feel like on the show itself, I feel like I get so attached to these people that we watch because you watch their journey, girl. Like you, you literally watch them through years, and you get so attached to them that you want to like find them on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or something, and you want to like update how they're doing. But I've noticed that a lot of them aren't active on social media. They kind of like just private their life away, you know. And I'm just like, what, girl, you should milk it for views. Write a book. Girl, start a weight loss channel. Like, something, girl. Okay? Can you imagine that? But this explains why there's, like, a lot of fat people in Houston, girl. I, mean, it didn't, I think there was an article that said Houston, Texas is, like, the, one of the largest, fattest cities or whatever. Well, uh, this is why you have one of the best weight loss doctors in the country right here, Dr. Nazar, who's on TV. So, of course, all these fat girls are going to come over here and get a weight loss surgery with him. So this is why. I mean, he makes them skinny, girl, but at the same time, I think he can only do so much. It has to do, he can only do the little, the little surgery and like the little skin tightening or cutting off the skin. I think a lot of it has to do with you and your willpower and your willingness enough to want to lose the weight, you know? And the, you got, I think that, I don't think people want to be 600 pounds. You have to understand that a lot of people get like that because of medical issues. Um, bad habits, addiction to food, addiction to, you know, drinks or whatever. And I kind of feel like, don't judge people. Oh, they're fat. Oh, they're fat. The house. like, well, no, they're fat because there's a reason behind it. And you'll be shocked to find out that a lot of it stems from childhood. A lot of it stems from uh, bad parenting. A lot of it stems from just having medical issues thyroid disorders, diseases that make them gain weight, or even they can be perfectly healthy and they're on steroids. You know, you know, doctor prescribes steroids to people and they, they gain weight the house or whatever. But I think a lot of it has to do with the salt and the food that they eat, which is very heavily processed food. Um, and I try to tell people like, I've, I go to restaurants and I can tell if it's frozen food. Like if it's a frozen meat patty or if it's like a frozen dough, oh, I could tell girl. Because I eat enough of the good stuff that I can tell you when it's frozen. Okay, and if it's frozen, I don't want it. You know, it's gonna have preservatives, it's gonna have a whole bunch of salt, a whole bunch of sodium. I don't want it the house, girl. I want it fresh, and I want it now, okay? Anyways, guys, I'll let you go. Like, again, this disclaimer, no disrespect to the producers of the show. People tend to get offended by my jokes or whatever, girl. So, by all means, I love them all, I respect them, I love them so much. Watch the show, support them. Doctor's amazing, I love you so much. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters. When they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. And how could you possibly take me serious, girl?
I'm just a clown, okay? Anyways, I do have music on iTunes and merchandise down below. Check it out if you want. And I'll see you next video. Bye, I love you some me. Honey, 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 honey. My conspiracy, my opinion, allegedly. Honey, 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 honey. honey.